So today we're going to be doing a sugar skull, a uh, glow in the dark sugar skull for a child and a mother. So it's going to be a mother daughter piece. This is an original sugar skull. I'm going to start by doing the outline all the way around the face and add some of the colors so I can kind of get an idea of how it's going to look. I did a heart shape and a flower petal outline around the eyes and then I'm going to paint white over the eyes to make it look like she has eyeballs. This paint is glow in the dark and it's called UV body paint neon glow. It is black light reactive and you can pick it up on Amazon. It comes with seven, eight colors, basic colors and um, I think I paid only like nine dollars or something for it. I didn't pay a lot, but the bottles are really small. I'll continue with the outline. Eyeliners and mascara. And now I start darkening around the eyes. It really makes it look like she has eyeballs when she closes her eyes. And all the black. Kind of ground everything. I always thought this uh, design was very playful and a lot of fun to do. adding a second coat of the green. The one thing about this paint that I do have to say is that it does have to go on at least twice, sometimes three times for it to come out with the color you want it to. It's very thin paint, uh, but it does do the trick when it comes to glowing in the dark. So in this application, I had to put two layers of the green, two layers of the pink. I think I did like three layers of the white over the eyes, the mouth, and the neck in order to get it as dark as I'd like it to be. And the black is not glow in the dark paint, it's just regular black Menron paint. Use my father in the background who would not move from the shot. <laughs> so now you can start seeing it come together though, because once I put the last layer of the white on, it really made that white pop, really made it look real that she had eyeballs up there. And this is the final product. 